Oh yes, let us warm up by this blacksmith's forge here. It is cold here in Skyrim tonight. Oh yes. My friends, today I welcome you to a brand new Skyrim series. This, my friends, is Skyrim Life as a bard. If you couldn't tell by the loot, we are of course playing as a bard. This is an RP series that I've wanted to do for a while now. A bard playthrough has just always been like a fun thing that I like doing. And Skyrim, honestly, it never really had the ability for you to become a bard. You know, you could join the bard's college and do a couple fetch quests for them. But in reality, like, there wasn't really much stuff to do as a bard. You can't play any musical instruments in Skyrim, which I thought was a really missed opportunity, you know. So I've installed a whole bunch of really cool immersive bard mods. And this series is going to be chock filled with bard, bard songs, music playing, ales and wenches. So yeah, I'll leave all the mods in the description below because I've got a bunch to make an immersive bard playthrough. And right now, we can just go for a little character run through. So this is my bard here. As you can see, he's not wearing the fine silks. He's uh, wearing quite rough and, uh, at this point, worn-in clothes for sure. And as you can see on our back, we've got a little we've got a little sack here, a little bedroll. We've got a sword in there, a torch, and a, just like a water skin and a couple couple things to keep us on the road. We've been travelling the harsh, the harsh Skyrim realms to get here. And uh, we are currently... Uh, down on resources and, and gold and stuff but there is one thing I always have and that is my trusty loot as you can see in my back here I've got my trusty loot that will always be by my side and that's the instrument I'll be playing mostly in this series we, we might dabble into the flute and drums and stuff but I think the loot is this is this path that I want to take right now the goal is we've just wandered into Riverwood so we're gonna play here for a bit see how much coin we can earn at Riverwood and then we're gonna want to move to the big cities pretty quickly start playing some tunes there Start earning some gold, see where that goes. Now, as a bard, obviously we're going to be playing songs in taverns as our main source of income, but, you know, bards bards could be the adventurous type as well, so we might see if we can get ourselves into any kind of adventures that are fitting for a bard. You know, th this guy's pretty conceited, and he does want his name to be, to be remembered, you know. He's not just in it for the gold, he's in it for the fame as well, so we want to build up renown for ourselves, so we might use some weapons and stuff. I might dabble in, like, conjuration and especially illusion magic, because bards can do that. They can dabble in various magics uh, attached to the musical instrument, and I've always liked the illusion school, because I feel like my bard wouldn't be, like, super destructive combat ready, but he would lose tricks and illusion to, uh, fool and beguile his enemies. But for now, we're just a simple classic musician bard, not kind of not kind of any warrior bard or battle bard or anything like that. Uh, and, and right now, what's on the agenda is that we get into the warm inn and start playing some music. A haze envelops the surrounding pines. Ooh, look at this is a nice glow. This haze is quite actually, looks quite nice. This is the haze that the game's on about. Oh, oh and before I do continue, as always, frostfall, realistic needs and diseases, all that good stuff is installed, so we do need to eat, drink, sleep. This is why we need coin mainly, and I've got a few mods that change the pricing of rooms and stuff to make it a bit more realistic. It's not just 10 gold a room. The nicer the rooms, the more expensive, so it's, it's going to be hard for us, you know. We've got to start playing our loot well. But without further ado, this intro has been a long one. I'm just very excited about the Bard playthrough. It's probably the most exciting playthrough for me currently, because I'm a big fan of the Bard life. But for now, we head in and start playing our, our first bits of music to the, uh, the local patrons at the, the Sleeping Giant Inn. Okay, so it's going to be a bit of a small venue today. We've got uh, the town drunk here. We're going to go play for him. But, you know, for our first little bit of music, I think this will be good. You know, not not too many people. If we fail, we won't fail miserably. Word won't spread around Skyrim that we are a terrible bard. But to begin, I think we have to ask the barkeep if we're allowed to play. Uh, I would like to play, please. Um, where's the option? Oh, maybe I have to ask one of the servers or something. I'd like to perform here. Thank you. I don't know why I had to ask... The server, one well, of the servers, why? If I start to uh, perform, but I've got permission now, so we should get some coin from this. A little bit of a coin, depending on how good we are. So as you can see here, I favorited a few song books. I've got Songs of Morrowind. I'm gonna play, you know, some Songs of Morrowind. This, my friends, locals, patrons, this is the Song of Morrowind. I shall play for you now. <laughs>
Oh yes, we are done. Collect my pay. There we are, nice little bow there. Oh yes, a round of applause. I did well, it would seem. Yes, clap for me. Alright, let's go collect our pay then, shall we? Where's the uh, wench that gave me my coin? There we are. Ten gold for that performance. Oh, this is this is tough. It's tough to make coin as a bard, it would seem. Well, thank you, Barkeep, for uh, allowing me to play here. Uh, you're in. This is my first experience as a bard here in Skyrim. That being said, that ten coin was uh, that was rough. That was a rough pay for such a performance, I must say. Embry, I would buy you a drink, but I've got no coin to my name, barely. That ten gold won't even buy me a room, because I've got a mod that changes the prices of rooms to make it more realistic, so I've got nowhere to sleep tonight. Riverwood, I was going to stay here for longer, but it's not been too kind to me <laughs> in terms of pay. I, I, I seek fortune as a bard, and this is a lovely village, and I would settle down here for retirement possibly, but not right now, not when I'm a young bard at the start of my career. I need to uh, I need to head out into the big cities, so the closest nearby city is Whiterun, and that is where we will head. Embry, Something. it's been an honour. My dudes, I must go. Oh, it's raining as well, so you've got to travel in the rain. Oh, man. This is, this is sad. This is sad times. You know, we shouldn't get too mad. You know, this is a small town. They can't really afford to play... To pay uh, every single bard, uh, you know, grand sums of money, especially s bards that are as unknown as us. Like we're not any kind of grand bard. Look at us. I mean, we've come in here with our burlap, rugged clothes, and our loot on our back. We're a nobody right now. So coin, coin will be slow at first, but I'm sure that there will be fortune in the future. Is that a bear over there? Uh, it's, it's an it's an elk. Okay. All right. So let's head to White Run, which will be down this way, and then hopefully. The inn will let us play there. So yeah, my friends, we've done our first performance at Riverwood there. Nice little town. We are now leaving to head to Whiterun. But the plan for this series is to, after Whiterun, probably to head to Solitude. Because Solitude is the capital, and it's also where the Bard's College is. So, once we go to the Bard's College, hopefully we can get some kind of formal training. Oh no, I am damp. I can hopefully get some formal training, and then, uh, you know, you know, play at the capital, get some coin, rich Bard. That'd be, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Maybe buy a house, a manor or something. But right now, we're, we're at the early stages, so we're going to head to Whiterun. But the goal is Solitude. Uh oh, wolves. So, okay, they're not coming after me, luckily. I'm not a fighter right now, so I'm not going to be able to take on the... Uh oh, it's coming for me. Run, run, there's Whiterun over there. I can see Whiterun in the horizon. Run, get out of here. Get out of here, there's wolves, wolves. Oh, there's a giant over there as well. I wonder if I can play some music. I shall play a song. Ow, I couldn't play a song. I guess because I'm in combat. You guys did a good job here. I'll take those arrows for no reason. Well, there we are. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm no fighter here. You like? You don't need help. You know that's interesting. I have no, I have no interest. I'm afraid. Uh, I seek, I seek the tavern, not the companion's mead hall. Okay, I seek the local tavern to play my epic songs. Hello, cart master. Oh yes. Now this is what I call a town. Look at this. Alright, we're nearly there. We've nearly reached White Run. And then I think I'll leave this first episode there. And then we'll continue with a nice song in the next episode in, in the White Run Tavern. We'll see how populated it is right now. Hopefully it's gonna be a bigger tavern. The Bannered Mare's a known tavern in these in this realm, so hopefully there'll be many people there. Let's enter. Oh look at this. This is a town. Look at this. I could stay here for a while. I could stay here for a while indeed. And the tavern, just at the end of the road there, let's enter. And hopefully it's going to have a lot of patrons. More patrons means more people to listen to our, our songs, our music. Okay, so it's not quite as populated as I want it to be. I think we should wait for a bit until it's super populated. Because right now it's, yeah, like 10 past 4 in the morning. So it's died down now. Everyone who was here has gone home. And it's gonna, not going to be populated until the evening again. Oh no! <gasps> There's another bard here. This is not good. He's got the same loot as me. This is not good. Please, this is not acceptable. Alright, so I think, my friends, I'm going to leave this episode here. In the next episode, we'll come back to this inn when it's a bit more lively. Uh, later in the evening. Maybe around 10 to 11-ish. I believe then, with the mods I have installed, this place will get very, very lively. And then we'll start playing some music, get some coin... And hopefully, we'll, uh, you know, end up with a, a nice pocket full of cash. But for now, my friends, this has been the first episode of Skyrim Life as a Bard. As always, if you like what you see, feel free to leave a like. And if you do want to see more, consider subscribing. My friends, I shall see you in the next episode. Goodbye for now.